Good evening. My name is Shaquille Brooks, and I would like to tell you about my story. This story is about fear, problems, opportunities, and change. When I was 12, my parents moved to Baltimore. I was afraid to go, so I decided to stay. I live with my grandmother and uncle in our hometown, Florence, South Carolina. Over the next six months, every time I talked to my mom, I heard about opportunities. Opportunities for work, opportunities to meet new people, opportunities to, to attend different events. I've learned that every single successful person has one thing in common. Every single one had and took advantage of opportunities in their life. They had opportunities before them and they didn't hesitate. I knew I wanted to be successful and I just felt a calling to be here in Baltimore. The opportunities I heard about helped me overcome my fear. Let me tell you about some of the opportunities I have not hesitated to be a part of. When I came, oh, when I came to Baltimore, as soon as I got to my school, I had the opportunity to join the Student Government Association. The beautiful thing about democracy is that you have a voice. As everybody who engages with democracy quickly realizes However, the difficult thing is you must learn how to make your voice heard. A lot of students don't feel like they have a voice because they haven't learned how to make their voice heard. I had this opportunity and I took advantage of it because I knew it would be good. Now I want to help other students who have similar opportunities to learn how to make their voice heard. The interesting thing about opportunities is that one opportunity often leads to another. So one day, my friend in student government told me, you know, hey, you should join the Mayor's Youth Commission. So I said, well, I guess I'll apply. I went in for the interview and soon learned I actually got the position. When I entered City Hall as a youth commissioner, I remember looking around and asking myself, how did I get to this point? I would have never imagined being in a place like City Hall. I knew I represented students from across the city, though, and that was a great responsibility. I got to work right away. As a city youth commissioner, I traveled all around Baltimore. The more I traveled, however, the more problems I saw. I saw problems of student transportation to and from school, problems of student safety, problem in educational outcomes and the problems of closing rec centers. In my opinion though, every problem is really just an opportunity for change. And these are problems that I want and students from across the city want to change. Last year, Mr. Coy encouraged me to join Wideingly Youth Media and that opened up the opportunity to make my voice heard through a campaign, a campaign to try and better students traveling to and from school. Every student knows that the MTA buses are, al are almost always very late. Drivers are sometimes rude and often students and bus drivers don't get along. When I joined the MTA design team, we wanted to change that. So we made posters and encouraged students to rate their ride through a text message system. Students can text whether it is a good or bad experience and give details about why. After we launched that campaign, I came up with an event for us students to say thank you to all of the bus drivers. My design team organized a bus driver appreciation day. We got them cake and gave them locker magnets to show our appreciation. As students for them, my story is not always a pretty one though. About two months ago, I experienced something horrific after school when I got mugged. It was the scariest thing I've ever experienced. It happened one day as my, I was on my way home from school, me and my friend got down to the bus stop and some guys grabbed, asked me, asking me for my phone and later got my phone. No one would help. I have never experienced anything like this in my life. Everyone agrees that students should be safe while waiting for the bus, but no one knows how scary it can be until they have been mugged. I don't want anyone else to, to experience that feeling. I filed a report with the police when it happened 
and nothing has happened yet. I have not given up, though, and I am still working to do something to stop violence and muggings. Over the past few weeks, I have brought this to the mayor's and police department's attention. They need to listen and do more to protect youth and students throughout the city. This Saturday, I will be meeting with the police commissioner Bats because this is an important matter and I believe something must be done to stop this from happening to other students. At the heart of violence, like the mugging I experienced, is poverty, which brings me to another problem I saw and I want to see it changed. The most powerful tool we have against violence and poverty is education. Schools in Baltimore, however, are too often failing at solving this problem. The purpose of an education is to improve quality of life. That means education needs to put an end to poverty. We should judge school by the jobs students have after they finish school and not just by test scores they get while in school. Too many students don't care about test scores, but every student cares about being successful in life. We need to change the equation of what we are measuring of students during school and how we measure the success of our schools. A year ago, Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake announced her plan to close rec centers across the city. Rec centers are really important to the communities they serve through, though because if kids don't have a safe place after school, this leads to violence, vandalism, and a loss of learning opportunities. What we need to do, though, is really is to reimagine what a rec center can be in today's economy. I believe they can be so much more. That is why I have worked as a student in the Digital Harbor Foundation to transform the rec center by my school into a brand new tech center where students learn real world skills and technology and work on real world projects. This photo shows the grand opening of the Digital Harbor Tech Center where I was the MC in front of more than 200 people in attendance representing students, parents, teachers, administrators, entrepreneurs, funders, technologists, Turning rec centers into tech centers will allow students to learn new tech skills, develop real, real world abilities, and have access to technology they may not have at home. I am committed to rewiring Baltimore, facing the fears I have, seizing opportunities in front of me, confronting the problems we face, and making the change that we want to see in Baltimore. I am committed to helping my fellow students find their voice in doing so. Will you join me? What we are talking about here today is important, but what is more important is that what we do tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. I am dedicating my life to rewriting Baltimore. Will you join me? Please stand with me now if you're willing to rewrite Baltimore. Thank you.